Greetings, ladies and gentle players, and today, this wonderful Friday in August of 2020, I'm going to be catering to the DDQs. <sighs> gave it some thought, really gave it some thought, like, do I really want to build versus DDKs in today's, well, this month's building series? And you know, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to. Now, there's a few things that we should talk about before we start uh, the DDK building. I'm doing it over here on OGS, since this is pretty much where uh, all the DDKs are pointed to play nowadays. Uh, and that is, if we build a large area, it is very much, it is very likely that it is going to be invaded. That is just something that you have to get used to. You have to understand if you are going to try to build something up. Now, some invasions will be flat out completely impossible to live as long as we do nothing horribly stupid. Some of them will be dead even if we don't do anything at all. And some of them are complicated and we might just allow them to live just because you need higher level reading in order to figure out why something should be dead. The important part of this, however, is pretty fundamental. And that is, as long as we're taking the large points and we are going to be building up, we should be okay on territory. And if our opponent stops building territory to reduce our territory, as long as we prioritize Sente, so we can keep building to offset what he is reducing, we're probably going to be okay there too. So if we get invaded, or if you get invaded when doing this in your own games, don't freak out. Hopefully, over the course of these games, we'll be able to figure out why you don't have to freak out. Why it's all cool. Why it's all gravy, man. And you know what else is all gravy? Badook.club for, in part, sponsoring these videos. They have an amazing website that gives us all hope for when we are allowed to go out and be all nice and sociable again. Hit up them go clubs. We got a website over here that is going to tell us exactly where we are going to go in order to find all those clubs, in order to be sociable, finding all those players happily around us. They are working on a new website with more features, including those of you who wish to run online tournaments, making it easier to kind of organize that kind of stuff. If you're into the tournament organizing and you want a website helping you out with that, go ahead and email hello at buduk.club. Get access to their beta site so uh, they can make your life a little bit easier. Gotta love buduk.club and gotta love them for in part sponsoring these videos. They help make sure that I can keep doing what I'm doing so you can keep enjoying what you're enjoying. Alright, got a game. I'm now black against a 13Q. Um, I'm going to... Uh... I don't know, maybe do a 3444? Okay, I have choices now. I can either approach his corner, or I could enclose my own. I think I will go for the enclosure here, since I want to build. I'm going to make a high enclosure. Two space high. Might give me some influential ideas. Go ahead and check out my opponent, because I like stalking people. Seems good. In the first from the outside, I have every reason to uh, just back off high here, but I really hate that M17 approach. It's a little bit too easy, in my opinion, to go ahead and find and reduce. Ooh, interesting choices here. So, on one hand, he has an extension, and ordinarily I would block the enclosure, but I'm going to prioritize approach of the 3-4 stone over the 4-4. I'm approaching high because I'm interested in doing a little bit of buildy stuff today. I'm going to keep an eye on various places where I can play to further expand as I'm going along. Uh, in the back of my mind while I'm playing a game, these are the kind of things that I'm looking at for Sente. Now, I did respond to the, uh, this move quite quickly into the Hane. I could have dropped down back in the day. That was a really, really fun way of building. But we kind of don't do it anymore because if they know the counter to it, it's a real pain in the butt. Don't like it. Don't like it. Now you might be saying, but he won't know the counter at 13Q. I mean, that's probably true. But at the same time, 
I can't play that way, you know? I have to assume they're going to play what I see, not I, not what I think they're going to see based on the number next to their name. Don't want to judge a person by, you know, numbers or letters or icons next to their name, you know? From? Yeah, that's where I'm from. Uh, from the U.S. So he didn't close, which is fantastic, but he didn't complete the Jiseki here, so I get to lean on him, like so. And then just extend. Thus allowing me to build, which is fit. Ooh, sorry. Which is great, because I wanted to build over here anyway. What are we going to do here? Uh, I guess we're going to pincer him. I could play here for safety's sake. For simplicity's sake, sorry. Not safety. Wrong word. Wrong word. My bad. Pincering him is also pretty good. It gives me an extension from this little guy. Um, yeah, why not? Gives more of a base kind of feel to this thing. Puts a little bit of pressure on him. You could just defend here if you wanted to. Oops, I'm being hit. I will respond. We respond to shoulder hits, uh, caps, and attachments, and things like that. Uh, interesting shape. I can do a one point jump now because he can't push and cut. If he pushes and cuts, I mean, we're fine. Also, picking up one, two, three, four lines of territory, which is fantastic. Elhane, because he attached to me again. And we do respond to that kind of thing. Um, I can't... I don't think I can really uh, go through here very well, so I'm just not going to try it. I'm just going to build the top. Uh, I'm going to Hane it head of two and three stones to keep building the top. And because I've got these cutting points, which one is better? Well, if he cuts here, there's a ladder. If he cuts here, there's no ladder. But wouldn't you know it, now there is. Oh, he's German. It looks like a... Take that stone away from there. Did I just make a kind of weird horse? His little tail, his head. Maybe a giraffe. What do you think? What does that look like to you? Like, look at that, like, elongated neck here with the head there. It's got the tail, it's got the two, the two feeties. The tail over here is what's throwing me off, though. Anyway, um, I can probably play here, and then if he cuts me, I can Hane. Chances are it dies. I'm not going to worry about it. I spent a little bit too long wondering about what kind of shape I made. Ugh. Giving a half-hearted attempt to poke him. Um, so I want to play here, but the danger here is if he doesn't recognize, I can then push and cut. It gets slightly awkward for him, so I just don't want to. I just don't want to involve any of that. I don't want to do any of that at all. So I'm going to. I'm going to jump. Make sure he can't cap my group, do weird things like that. Again, he's kind of hitting me, so I will defend myself. What's fascinating about this game, it looks like my building's going to take place on the bottom of the board more than anything else, huh? That's kind of strange, eh? Um, that move is incredibly slow. I don't want to respond to it. I'm going to follow up because he ignored me. Nice and simple. It's tempting to respond to here instead. And I, I was really thinking about it. Okay, I have absolutely no idea what that is. I'm very I'm a very confused individual. Why would you ignore me? I'm going to cap you and kill you. Unless the asking where I'm from is to throw me off that you know who you're playing. Because we don't kill things in basics. Is that it? I bet that's it. I have your number now.
But no, I will kill you. So he shoulder hit me. I responded. He ignored the damage to his one stone. So I responded. He played away completely. I'm not magically gonna, like, just stop that kind of stuff. Also, this move is wrong. This move should probably be over here somewhere. I can push through an Atari, Atari, and connect back to isolate the entire middle group. This whole middle group, then, could probably die. Now, here's the hard part. I'm really not going to try to kill him. It's true. I'm going to try not to kill him. I want to play here right now. I know, not killing this, I don't even know how to not kill that. Like, the Hane kills it. Instead, I'm going to play over here. I'm going to build. Ah, oh, instant shoulder hit again. <sighs> okay, well. Gonna connect. Be nice and safe. Um, what's a simple move here? I want to play this one. This one to me is simple. This to me is simple too. I mean, I have to, right? I know, what if he cuts? Then you extend up. What if he drops down? Then we don't care. Defend. So on this board right now, I'm seeing three groups I can kill. I can probably kill this group. I can probably kill the top group. And I, there's a good chance I could probably kill this middle group too. By uh, attacking one of these. Or both. Um... It's it's tough. It's it's really really tough. What do I do? Well, I guess our build portion of today's game is uh, over. So I need to reduce the right hand side. Okay, I'll play there then. It's very important to recognize when you can no longer build, and you have to switch to a territorial game. I built as long as I could, and short of attacking and killing something, I don't see what I can do here. Now, I do want to point out it's really, really easy to try to kill these groups, and uh, I'll probably be pointing that out. But since I'm not going to try to attack and kill those groups, let's just show how to live. This is a classic response. He could probably play here. I will grab my base. Danger about playing the this one, however, is the one point jump here into the Aji, but it's fine. A mm, little bit of an overplay. If I play here, he has to connect. If I play here, he wants to play there. Mmm. He's kind of injuring himself right now is what he's doing, unfortunately. I have a feeling I'm killing something this game. <laughs> I don't want to! Uh, I'm going to wind up killing something this game. That's all there is to it. Utari here. What's he going to do? Is he going to connect? Problem is if he connects... I get to play here, right? And then I've cut off this group. That's a problem. It's a very big problem. Uh, cutting, connecting here is probably not a good idea. He cuts and then... No, actually, it's actually a very good idea because... Uh, because he played the descent. Oh, that requires reading! That's annoying. Oh my god. Okay, so the top can die, the, bot the middle left can die, and now the corner can die. What's basic, dude? Just connect. Just connect. I'm, I'm gonna lose this game. I'm gonna lose this game. I'm gonna, I'm gonna protect. 
My two stones are dead. Like, it's way dead. Alright, so as mentioned, there's a lot of weird stuff going on in here. This is actually a tempting one to play because if he tries to go and cut this one, uh, for example, I can cut here. Now the normal response to this one would be to play something like this, and then maybe play something like this, and then maybe play something like this, as we can see here. But if he plays here, we can Atari, and if he tries to kill me, well, that's the issue, isn't it? There's an Atari here now. Into, uh, let's see, probably an Atari here? Is that gonna work? Yeah, that looks like it works. And now the whole corner is uh, not, it's not doing very good. Not doing very good at all. So technically, if you put like all of the Aji together, then yes, there is in fact a thing here. But clearly, that's not simple, that's not a DDK thing to do, so yeah, just went ahead and played here and sacrificed, because at the very least, that keeps it nice and basic. I'm gonna turn, these two stones are now isolated, this group's isolated, this group is still not alive, and the right can be cut off, or the left can be cut off, sorry. Ugh, I'm I'm legitimately worried at this point that unless I start killing one of these weak groups, because he's got four of them now, then it's gonna be bad for me, man. Protecting my group because he cut. Playing the Hane. At this stage, he has me defending my corner. He hit my outside stone, so I'm going to respond. I don't want him getting silly stuff here. This is actually pretty huge. But I think I've refrained from killing the top. It's not Sente for you. Okay. Welcome to McDonald's. Can I take your order, please? There we go. Defend my corner. My corner's pretty... No, you can't live in there. That's just rude. At that point, that's just rude. It's like, uh, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? The outside group is in a lot of trouble. Am I playing on OGS or am I playing on Fox? I can't tell. <laughs> so now this middle group's in trouble. Okay. Question mark? Okay. Uh-huh. The outside's dead. I mean, I I know of no way to not kill it. <sighs> not gonna worry Shoot. about it. All right, so that's dead. Also, this group can connect to here, cause the drop down to T nine is Sente. Right? He has to play here. He has to play here, and then this just connects, which is nice. It looks like he's just going to go ahead and give me uh, the uh, stones here, which is fantastic. I can Hane because my strength, my shape here is pretty strong. Just connect back like so. Alright, these three stones are dead. This table shape might be dying too. And you have to be careful because... The bottom group's not alive, and the left group's not alive. Ugh, why do I get the feeling that this entire game is about to turn into one giant lesson on how to kill things? Since it looks like I might be sacrificing, I'm going to go ahead and get a move in, uh, for free. Excellent. 
Um, technically, I think he went, eh, it's fine. And then I think I'm going to go and play here. And I'm going to play here. And here as well. <clears throat> and then these zones are now dead. Excellent. Honey. I'm giving him an opportunity to try to kill these stones. He has not taken it. Okay, well then, I guess I'll just connect up my stones here like so. Thank you. Um, connect my group up. All right, groups connected. Um, can I kill your four stones? No? Then you can't kill mine. Nice and simple result. That's Gote. Um, unfortunately, still not alive. Like, I can poke here. I won't poke here, but I will, like, I'm gonna kind of pass and give him a free move. I'm hoping he plays something like this one here to begin getting his uh, eyes. That, I don't think works, question mark? Hmm, I'll allow it. I'll allow it, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'll allow it, I'll allow it, I'll allow it. I'm backing off, I'm trying nice and simple here. I think I'm not going to try and cut this group off in the middle and kill it. But I think what I am going to do is throw in here and then draw back. Just be careful, this corner's in danger of being dead now. If I throw in here, we can cut through there. And if he allows me to connect and I draw back, he hanes, I hane, he has to enclose. Um, what? Okay. What is going on here? Hmm. These stones are definitely mine, sir. You cannot complain. How many groups does he have? He has like one group here, two groups, three groups, four groups, five groups, six groups, seven groups. Wait, what? Wait, count that again? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that makes actually perfect sense that he's dead, huh? I mean, that's just proverb. That's just proverbs. He's created way too many groups, you know? Yeah, he's flashing seven groups right now. Eight, if you can count the three here that he tried to save for a minute and then died. And, 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 I can play the Atari here and cut this off to make eight. Eight different groups here. How many do I have? I've got one, I've got two, three. So it's three groups to potentially eight. That is why he's dying. That is why he's dying all over the place. He has too many groups. Um, I can play here real quick. He's alive. Well, if he hadn't closed, he would have been alive. Now, he, if I throw in, he's dead, but... I'm going to try to avoid that, eh? Building up some more territory here. There are really huge throw-ins, though. This throw-in is real. This cut, or at the very least, this peep to connecting back is very real. So when we're talking about large endgame right now, that's kind of what we're talking about. Atari the two stones. I guess this one of left hand's left hand side is kind of hard to see, eh? Push, block, Atari, connect, Atari. Kind of in trouble. I can't Hana, he can clamp, I descend, he cuts, and then we're in trouble. Uh, 
Now, you might be tempted to look at this game and be like, you know what? You wouldn't have any points if it wasn't for the fact that this group was dead. But the thing is, if your opponent has eight groups on the board and one of them is not dead, you actually have done something wrong. I'm going to play this protection because I keep looking at this and I want to play it over and over and over again. That doesn't go anywhere. Stop it. Stop it. My stones. Okay. Mm-hmm. Have you got something here? Nope, guess not. Nice easy shape. Can I just take that too? Okay, mine. So I think I'm going to do just the one um, DDK buildy game. Because this one at the very least is turning into a murder fest. And as you know previously, uh, when I released hopefully last week publicly, the first game that was successfully uh, being played was over in like 70 moves. So I think I'm probably going to go back to um, Don level building. I think we're probably going to get more out of those games than uh, the DDK building. Because a lot of this right now seems to be pointing out, well, he's dead here, he could have died here, and uh, so on and so forth. So I hope you DDK players do not mind terribly. The throw in, I mean, this is a DDK thing, right? DDKs can see that one. There's a double peep point literally right there. Now he connects here, I Atari. He Ataris and me, I take. He Ataris and then, uh, yeah, he's good to go. Um, let's see, his biggest source of territory looks like is lower right hand corner. Don't want that cut off, that would be bad. I say no to that one. And then I can play here. <clears throat> And then play here. This area over here, that turned pretty large, didn't it? Don't want him doing anything weird. Don't want that stone disappearing. Is he trying to do something over in here, maybe? Huh? You trying to do a little, uh, little, uh, little action here? I don't think it works, though, so we're going to ignore that right now. Atari? And push. Um, throw in here still kills. Throw, draw, pane, block, push, take, connect. Pretty straightforward read. Go ahead and take another one stone, I suppose. Do not allow him to Atari his way out of here. I would not like that to happen, thank you very much. Okay. That makes it only one point, not two. Oh, that's a good one. Nice. Good end game, sir. I will Atari you and praise. Oh, right. How did this happen? You throw in here and he drops down, you turn left, and then you can block, and this is dead too. Completely spaced on that one. Oh, right, the Atari is supposed to be ignored. The Atari is supposed to be a, uh... Right, right, right. When I Atari the two stones, he's supposed to make an eye up here. Uh, what? Okay. This is all connected, though, you see. That doesn't go anywhere. Um... I'll give him Zente back. I really want him to live in the top sides. These two uh, corners. 
or the the middle sorry in the corner here actually a eight, eight, eight 14 would have been better if he plays a 14 now i gotta play here and then the entire is gonna take a 14 a 15 and then hello don't play that that's no, fine is it yeah yeah that's fine I can tell you from the side still because I have two liberties there we go okay and now I push Can you please live? Thank you. Here too, please. Thank you. Do I have to be careful here? No, I have an eye. Yeah, I have an eye. Ah, uh, he can Atari me here, though. I love to connect. And then I can Atari him here and get him to do that one. Yeah, that's fine. Definitely need to play that one. Doesn't matter. These three stones are dead. Atari. And connect. And pass, I think, right? Yeah. Pass. He might not know that this group is still dead. He might think that... <sighs> there. He can never Atari this group. long as he can never play that stone, he can't remove all the liberties. You're dead there, sir. See? I'm, I'm, I have eyes, and you're dead. That is not going to be played. That was actually gave me a point. That was actually bad for him. And this whole group over here is all nicely connected to everything else, so it's fine. No worries there. Everything's all nice and happy. Pass. Yep. Remove the dead stones. Looks good. You have one. All right. So one by thirty-five point five, which is cool. Let's go ahead. I guess I'll say thanks for the game. And then I'm gonna also go and review. Review started. So. We enclose, he pressed on the outside, not the inside, that's fine. This, you don't want to play. I can understand people getting confused nowadays. A lot of uh, the AI say it's okay to leave this position behind. Um, I say if you do that, you're insane. Yes, you get the enclosure, which is fantastic. You do give up the influence, though. And then, as you see immediately, he has to reduce the left-hand side because he's giving me too much. He can't let me, for example, take this because this, with the top available, is going to be larger than the right-hand side. So it's not an exchange he can make. Therefore, after he makes this decision, he has to immediately start to reduce um, my, my left and then probably my top too. If you play something like this instead, this is much more equal. He's got pressure on my group for later, doesn't have to reduce the left-hand side, it's still open, the top is only he has to worry about, so it has a much more normal feel to the game. This is a much more specialized feel to the game, where he now has to figure out what to do with this group. As you can see here, this was a source of some problem for him for a very, very long time. And we can play here into here. We're now picking up 4th and 5th line territory. The minute we began picking up 5th line territory, he was in a really, really big problem because he put this into a more of a small territorial count game. And the reason why we know this is quite simply because if we look at this area, it's very, very small for territory. This, as it stands, is a two-space extension, also very, very small. 
So it's mostly um, it's mostly this group here that's like doing all the work. He's trying to be the star of this game in terms of uh, White's points. Whereas if my top is fifth line, it's going to be larger than the bottom right hand side. So that's just mathematically a problem. Defend myself that way. I could have defended myself this way, but I felt greedy going for a fifth line. It's entirely possible this move alone just lives if I tried something like that. So didn't want to do it. As mentioned previously, that probably kills. And yeah, here I, I was very, very confused. Very, very confused. Because as mentioned throughout the entire game, over and over and over again, this is not a fun position to be in. It's just, it's just not. Um, yeah, right now he's kind of probably better off making sure that he's alive over in here. Fixing his shapes in here, maybe trying to find some way to live up there. But if you try to live up there, then you're going to get killed here, probably. I don't know, it's a headache. It's, it's a headache trying to juggle all these different weak groups. And this is why you just simply don't want to do it. Long story short, it's just why you just don't make all these different weak groups. Because then they just start getting taken out one after the other. And that's just no fun. That's just no fun. So, I hope you guys learned a little something from this game. As always, I'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.